Yeah, hello everybody, this is Ötzi and welcome to Ötzi Place. Walking Dead. Episode 2, start for help, part 9. Last time we got the door open, the secret door in the barn, and well, Danny. Danny got us. And that wasn't good. And this now we are eating me. dinner, but there was a bloody room in the. Um, What's some call it? In the barn. So least college degree. These boys aren't stupid. Please kind of freaked out. Yeah. Seems like it's been years since kids were playing sports for fun. This dairy must have meant a lot to them before the walkers destroyed everything. High school diploma. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. So much morphine for candles, smart, musty as hell. I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? Huh, where is that cord going? Mark, but Brenda said he was up here resting. Feels like there's a storm coming. Well, kinda. Bad feeling about this. We oh, fuck me. What the hell happened? Uh, uh, brothers. What the hell happened to your legs, man? Don't eat dinner. <laughs> Jesus, man. 
Did you find something? Aw, oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. Mark is upstairs with his fucking legs cut off. You're eating him. That's crazy. What the hell? You're scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. What is going on? Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. Just let us go. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Clementine, run! Nobody's going anywhere. We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put fuck. your guns down! We're walking you out of here! Near my Mommy, fucking family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay. Lee? Lee? No. Let go of her, you son of a bitch! Did God damn it! If you hadn't dragged your feet, come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Oh, back up, Lee! Those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker. We gotta get the fuck out of here. This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here. Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. And just okay. a moment ago, he was all like, yeah, let's eat, they are good people. Pretty heavy. Think we could heave it through the door? Yeah, door's too solid. Come on, try us out. Come on, Larry. Do you really want to attract their attention? Yeah. I want to attract their attention, so I can fucking kill them! Guess your new girlfriend wasn't all she was cracked up to be. What the hell is your problem? You. You were a prick back at the motor lodge, and you went out of your way to be an asshole to me tonight. You must really hate me. But guess what? You're stuck with me. I plan to be around long after you're gone. And if you turn, I'll be the one to put the axe through your skull. I'm not your enemy, Larry. I don't believe you. Don't forget, I know who you really are. There's more of us on the way! Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking dad, door! Dad, stop! God damn it! They're not gonna open the door! Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking dad, door! Dad, stop! 
God damn it! Dad, this isn't helping. It got caught you and Duck, Lee. Those fuckers have my family. I know. We're gonna get out of here and find them. I'll, I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get... Uh, uh, easy. Uh, oh, God. Dad? Heart attack. No. Dad, come on. Dad! Oh, God. He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead. Somebody help me. If he's dead... He's not dead! What has to happen, Lee? Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six-foot-four, three-hundred-pound, seriously pissed-off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! Fuck. Later, but right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He's not dead! Lily can still save him. I wish she could, believe me, I do. But that man is dead. You both know what happens next. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee. I need you. Please help me. Oh my god. Come on, Dad. Come on. Wake up. Lee! Is he breathing at all? No. No, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Let's hope this works. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn! What? You're putting all of us at risk, you son of a bitch! Three. You're fucking forceless, Lee. No! Kenny, what the fuck? I'm so sorry. I just... It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! Are you okay? Too much Is salt will kill you. <laughs> yes, for now. But we still need to find a way out of here. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. Fuck me. That's some serious shit right there. Ah, I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, thank you for watching. This was It's Blaze Walking Dead with some salt. Episode 2, Start for Hell Up, Part 9. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.